Hello and a very warm welcome to the Total Energies BWF Thomas & Uber Cup Finals 2020. We are in beautiful Aarhus, the second largest city in Denmark, where the forest, the sea and the city meets in perfect harmony. Aarhus was designated European Capital of Culture in 2017 under the theme Let's Rethink. The port of Aarhus is the largest container port in Denmark and has the capacity to handle the largest ships in the world. All five continents are represented, 31 teams from all corners of the globe are participating. 16 teams from Asia, 9 from Europe, 2 from Africa, 2 from Oceania and 2 teams from Pan America. Only five nations have ever won the Thomas Cup, Indonesia, China, Malaysia, Japan and Denmark. Group play on till Thursday this week before we reach the sharp end of the tournament playing quarterfinals, semi-finals and finals end of the week at day nine. The tournament is played in four groups of four. The top two teams in each group qualifies for the knockout stage and a new draw is made for the quarterfinals. The group winners will be seeded and the draw will be between the runners up in the other groups. In other words, you cannot draw the same team you played in the group. We are having a very, very busy programme with three sessions a day, morning, afternoon and evening and we will turn our attention to the group decider in the Thomas Cup, Group B on court number one between Denmark and Korea. And the third session on court number one is a Thomas Cop tie in Group B between Denmark and Korea. Both teams have already safely qualified for the quarterfinals, but it's very, very important to top the group. And here we've got the order of play for tonight. And uh, first match is the first men's singles Victor Axelsen Olympic gold winner against Ho Kwang Hee of Korea. Then the second match is the first men's doubles. It's Kim Astrup and Anna Skog Rasmussen against Yong Jin and Su Sung Jae. Third match on is the second men's singles. Anna Antonsen, a silver medalist from the World Championship in 2019 against Yong Yuk Jin. Match number four, men's doubles. The second men's doubles, Matthias Christiansen, Ferg Sugo against Kang Min Yuk and Kim Wan Ho. Fifth and final match, the third men's singles, Rasmus Genke against Cho Gun Yup. And the first match coming up is the first men's singles, Victor Axelsen against Ho Kwang Hee. Victor Axelsen, hugely, hugely popular, of course, in Denmark, especially after having won the Olympic gold medal in Tokyo just a few months ago. He is a former world champion, as well from 2017, and uh, has won all the big tournaments at least once. His opponent from Korea, Ho Kwang Hee, also had a more than fantastic outing in Tokyo. He reached the quarterfinal and beat the top hot favorite, Kento Momota, in the group to qualify for the knockout stage. Not only that, he surpassed the last 16 and went on to the quarterfinal where he lost to Kevin Corden from Guatemala. No head-to-head -head between these two players prior to this match. Yes. This side. Uh, you serve or receive? So Axelsen won the toss and he chose ends, which I think is a very, very clever move. But whether you like to play the fast end or the slow end first is entirely a personal taste. 
there's always a small little drift in the hole wherever you go and uh, it can be inches but it can also be a lot lot more than that the first profile is a big tax and 27 years of age he's born in Ulenser in Denmark and that's where we go next week for the uh, Denmark Open he has been number one on the world ranking for 51 weeks and last time was the 20th of September 2018 he's played all the three matches in the group of this Thomas Kopp and uh, was slightly under pressure in the first match against France but we will get back to that his opponent Ho Kang Hee 26 years of age not as tall as Axison, uh, but still good size for, for badminton. His highest ranking is at 32, and uh, he spent two weeks as number 32, and last time was the 17th of March 2020. He as well has played all three matches in the group, and he's won the first two matches. Uh, against uh, Thomas Junior Pupov from uh, France. He had to use three games to win, but against Germany Vice Kirchen, he won comfortably in two straight games. And uh, Humaro Leila from uh, Indonesia is uh, our umpire for this match and uh, the service judge. will be Iris Metz Spalu of Estonia. So we, we have a very, very interesting match in front of us, I think, because even though there's a big difference in uh, the world ranking, I think Ho Kang Hee, if he's having a good day, I have to say if, but if he's having a good day, he's having this sort of game that can really trouble Axelsen because he's got a very strong defence. But not only that, when he go all-out attack, he's a very strong player as well. On my right, Denmark, represented by Victor Axelsen. by Kwang Yi. Korea to serve. Level play. To a good start, Axison this time with a backhand smash. But in my opinion, Okong Hee really had to go full blast attack to try to unsettle Axison a little bit. As we know, when he is not comfortable and is under pressure in his defense, then suddenly his confidence is disappearing a little bit. Ho Kong Hee won the World Junior Championship in 2013 and uh, Axison won that three years prior to that in 2010. and played against Christo Popov from France in the first match against yeah against France sorry uh, Axison won the first game quite comfortably 
but then lost that second game 22 20 before the young man from France was running out of steam completely out of energy actually got cramped towards the end of that third and final game losing 21 8 but he showed it was possible to take a game away from the taxes That's awesome. Using his very good reach and height. Jumping from base position to the around the head situation backhand and hammering it down the line. 4 2 up. looking so cool and calm Ho Kwang Hee and uh, every time I see him play I am still surprised that he's not higher than 32, 33 in the world ranking because I think he's got far more potential than that but I guess inconsistency is his problem when it comes to his world ranking defence has let down Ho Kang Hee on a number of occasions already now in the beginning of the opening game and he needs to get that one under control. Good spacious awareness. And we see Mass Colling at the back. And his face lines gone. Yeah, that's awesome. That's really good angle from Axison. Very sharp, crisp, using minimum effort. And having a very, very handsome lead already, 9-2 up. play a shot like that and fight this is a second time around in to the forehand side and with immense power and pace Oh, of 
course, uh, Kenneth Jonesen, the coach of Vitan Axelsen, very happy with the performance of his player, just confirming that he was happy and he liked how calm and collected Axelsen was playing. And uh, asked him also to take a little bit of time between rallies just to be composed the whole time. Yeah, that's a good shot. And that's what we need to see some more from Ho Kwang Hee. That's a very nice, look how quickly he's moving towards his round of hit. And look at that beautiful smash down the line. Great drop shot from the Korean. Catching Axelsen in one of the most difficult corners on the badminton court. That short forehand, I think everyone can agree with me on that. Only eight minutes of play and it's one-way traffic, 13-4 in favour of Axelsen. Showing lots and lots of surface here, Axis and slicing that shot back to where his opponent was coming from. Played it very sharply. It looked like an easy shot, but again, I can assure you, it's not that easy. And that's a sharp, crisp shot from Ho Kwang Hee. And that was possibly the longest rally in the, in the game so far. And yes, longest rally, 42 shots. But that was a very nice uh, finish by the Korean. I like that slice, half smash, very close to the line. And that's going wide. 
good spinning net shot from the Korean, forcing Axis to be a little bit more inventive. And a little bit of trickery to entertain the home crowd. I think he could have done a lot more with that. But uh, chose to leave it. He can afford it. Ten point gap. It's a very nice rally. And more pace from the Korean now. And that's just wide of the sideline, called out. from Ho Kwang Hee. Playing a lot more now in straight lines. Unless he's going for attacks, which of course can be either cross or straight. But very often when he's... Exactly what that was all about. Unless that the umpire was saying that Axison was delaying the match. But I don't think he, he was. So now close to double figures. Court to be mopped. Oh, well, he is asking the umpire. And that's uh, a welcome, a little break to get a little bit of liquid on board. Confirm with the coaches whether the strategies are okay. Yep. What the honest and they're saying. Play straight lines. Yeah, it's a little bit too little, too late, but nevertheless, I think in the latter stages of this game, no doubt, Hong Kong here. Is getting more into it. Two points away from taking the opening game. 19-11 for Axis. 16 minutes to play. Yeah, 
Yeah, good placement. Famous spot on the forehand side of the body. The right hip is always a very tricky place to defend. And well executed here by Axelsen, setting up nine game points, 20, game point 11. And here we've got the confirmation, 21-12 in 18 minutes. Interesting coaching from Jonas, and they discussed from the beginning that uh, they saw a much more true picture of uh, Hokan He from the mid game interval 11. And uh, they have a lot of respect for him, and I can understand that because he did not have a good start, but from 11 onwards, he was actually playing really well. And even from 16 onwards, it got even better. Um, Axison wants to step forward a bit, uh, trying to close down the, the front of the court as much as possible to ensure that uh, not too much initi initiative is given away. And uh, then the last sort of in instruction and discussion the two, the player and the coach had was that uh, don't show any, they don't give anything away. And then uh, a good start for Axelsen to love up here in the second game. the tape rolling over. Nothing Ho Kwang He can do about that one. It's a good attempt, though almost got it back. But, uh, shot down to perfection from Axelsen.
full stretch from Ho Kwang Hee. He reached his first final on the World Tour at the Taipei Open Super 300 Tournament in uh, September 2019. <laughs> And that's wide. had a million options on, on that last shot, whether he wanted to go straight down the line, even cross, down, uh, cross to the back line, and then of course he's choosing the more extravagant choice here, doing cross court to the net, but uh, options were many. And that's some of the things that was discussed at the interval between Jonas and, and Axelsen. Look how high up on court Axelsen is standing as soon as he's seeing Hokan He getting caught in the deep backhand corner and straight away he's up there closing that front court down. Adding on the pressure, forcing an error, 6-2 up. And that's why celebrating his good defence, forcing the error. And now when you're seeing the spectators, you're perhaps wondering why no one is wearing face masks and why we can have such a big crowd here in the stadium. And it's simply because all COVID-19 restrictions are lifted in Denmark and it's been for more than a month now. So, uh, COVID-19 are no longer considered as a critical disease in Denmark. And at one stage when there was a view of spectators and I actually spotted Alice Antonsen's grandparents sitting there so they are of course waiting for him to turn up on court a little bit later. Good play from uh, Ho Kwang Hee. Oh, that was a 
chance to take, but that was close. Very, very surprising backhand smash from Axis in there. Almost worked out. Once again, the touch on the backhand is letting Ho Fung Hee down. But that was a lovely rally. Great to watch. Lovely placement from Old Bang Hee. He read that really well, Ho Kwang Hee. Look at how quickly he got to that backhand at the front of the court. That was awesome. Forcing Axis and completely out of balance. And yeah, no chance to get that one. That is good play. Fantastic anticipation here. Cross-court smash. He really has got some lovely shots when he's in position. See whether Ho Kwang He can close the gap. Trailing five. Points here, eight thirteen.
flipping that one down. Such a short action on the last shot. And total balance and control. That was a good shot. <laughs> yeah, apologising. Well, I'm sure he's very happy with it. Look at this shot. Doesn't get much better than that. And he can do it as well. Yeah, acknowledgement here from Axelson. That's a lovely, lovely finish here. Have a look at this one. Yeah, just clipping the top of the tape as well. Good long rally. Yeah, that acknowledgement here from Axelson. This one as well, tight. Yet another long rally. Good pace from the two players. Full stretch. But Barney is getting late on that one. But look at this one here as well from Axison playing at cross court. And that rally was 39 shots. Very close to the longest match. After 35 minutes of play, Axelsen is about to bring Denmark up 1 0 in the tie against Korea. Massive support from the crowd. Fun he survived the first. Second one as well. 11, And 
minutes. Very short. as well. Beautiful touch of the net. Axis and trying to close the net down but uh, the touch from Holpan he was simply too good. Couldn't finish it and uh, it was a simple pass. Here we see that nice and easy simple pass from Holpan he. a big chance. That was a huge opportunity. And Axis and take the opening match. 21-12, 21-14 in just 39 minutes. Confirmation, 21-12, 21-14. Comfortable win for the Olympic champion. Yeah, Axis and have to find his face mask as it's protocol here at the tournament. There is a green bubble, as we call it. All players, officials, everyone connected to the tournament are frequently tested, have to wear a face mask, cannot interact with uh, the public and so on, so it's, it's very strict red and green zones and so forth. And here we've got the match point replay, and that's a very tight spinning shot. Oh, and he can't lift it. And uh, a smile from Axison. Got that one under the belt, happy. And bringing Denmark on course. And the next match coming up is Kim Estrup and Alice Rasmussen against Seo Song Jae and Yong Chin.
and look at these beautiful pictures from Alls over the stadium, the sports complex here in Alls. On your top left is the football pitch where AGF, the local football team, is playing. And here we are at the Cirrus 